Good day everyone. This video will demonstrate how to perform a WBC dilution using a thermal pipette. Before you begin, make sure you have all the materials needed. You will need a WBC thermal pipette, a tuberculin syringe with rubber tubing, paraffin, 1% hydrochloric acid, a small test tube, as well as a pasture pipette, and of course, our blood sample which in this case is found in an EDTA tube. First, take 1% hydrochloric acid or any other diluting fluid suitable for WBCs and place it in a test tube. Fill up the test tube 3 fourths of the way to make it easier for you in the next steps. Don't forget to cap your reagent bottle to avoid contamination. Now, take your EDTA tube and invert it several times to mix the blood. Take your WBC Thoma pipette and insert the rubber tubing of your syringe on the top opening of the pipette. Make sure the syringe is working properly. Draw a sample of blood using the syringe of your pipette. Make sure that your sample only reaches the 0.5 mark. If it goes past this mark, you must repeat the procedure once again. Wipe excess blood using a cotton ball or some gauze. Now, take your WBC pipette and place it in the tube with the diluting fluid. Immediately pull the plunger of your syringe to collect the diluting fluid in the Thoma pipette's bulb. Keep doing this until you reach the 11 mark of your pipette. Make sure that you do not go past the 11 mark, otherwise you will have to repeat the process. Now place the tip of your gloved finger at the tip of the Thoma pipette and carefully remove the suction device. Use your other finger to cover the other end of the pipette and carefully invert several times. Now place your Thoma pipette on a mechanical shaker following the position indicated on the diagram of the machine and shake for at least 3 to 5 minutes. After you've done that, you're ready to go on to the next step. Thanks for watching. See you next time.